Hi, I'm Mike, owner of the Ingroom in Phoenix, Arizona. Today I'm doing the Record Store Day 2021 Drop 1 preview video. This is a monstrous amount of stuff, and I'm going to be here all night showing it to you. So this is almost everything that is going to be available for Drop 1. I'm still receiving packages. There's some late arrivals. I would say maybe 10 or 15 titles are not here to show you guys. And also keep in mind, maybe 20 titles were delayed until the Drop 2. So there's a lot of cool stuff that's not actually even going to be on this drop anymore. So I'm not sure if that was updated on the Record Store Day website or not. But yeah, if you're not seeing stuff here, there's a good chance it was pushed back to drop two. Don't forget, guys, all of this stuff can be purchased online at our website at www.theingroove.com starting at 1 o'clock Eastern Time. As far as my locals go, we open the store at 8 o'clock Saturday morning. Get here early. Bring some water because it's going to be hot. So, yeah, I feel bad for you guys. You're very brave to do it for those who do do it. But if you, yeah, if you don't, I can totally understand that as well. But let's crack uh, along here. I will start with the Motley Crue cassette box. The one, actually, there's a few things that are not records uh, on this release. But, yeah, this is a cassette box for the albums, part of the Record Store Day 1 drop box. There's also an Ariana Grande CD that I don't believe I have yet. Uh, there's a companion LP to it, but there is also the CD. A Desmond Decker singles box. I will bring the singles up over there. What do we got here? Blind Boys of Alabama. Do it this way. Mud Honey and the Meat Puppets. Keith Richards. Pretty cool. I love this version of Gimme Shelter. If it's the same one I'm thinking of, which there's a clip of it maybe on YouTube. Quite good. He also did a little Instagram promo on this particular record. Him holding it. Hey, it's a record. Go buy it. In typical, Steve, uh, in typical Keith Richards fashion. Steve Earle and the Dukes. Cautious Clay, Prototype 3000, The Who, I think these are those uh, Mongolian throat singers. Ham featuring Taylor Swift, somebody asked me to unbox this, uh, I'm not going to unbox this because it's a 7 inch single, but yeah, there's your 50% of your unboxing video. And yeah, Steve Earle and the Dukes, I think I grabbed it a couple times maybe, I did, all right. Let's check out some of the 10-inch singles, our mini EP slash mini LPs. Suicide, Urban Renewal Project. This is going to be a graphic novel and probably, uh, let's see, a seven-inch single. The Flaming Groovies. I'll have a bucket of brains. The original 1972 Rockfield recordings for UA. Look at them holding uh, that killer Jerry Lee Lewis record on the back. The Melvins. This is a two disc, 10 inch set. Actually, I don't even think this is a record story title. That just might be in here. Already showed you that. Couple dupes. We kind of grabbed some of this stuff in a hurry to show you this. UFO, Mother Mary, and the kids. This is on clear vinyl. This looks pretty cool. This is a wire little miniature box set. So it looks like we've got a couple of discs in there possibly and a book. Really nicely done. Looks, looks quite cool. Let's start with the 12 inches, or continue with the 12 inches. These are somewhat in alphabetical order how they were on my shelf, but not entirely. Air, people in the city. This is pretty cool looking. Al Storm, Sunset of the Golden Age. Strictly limited edition. This is on splatter, gold and black vinyl. I bet that looks pretty killer. Anti-Flag 2020 Division. 
we've got some uh, political messaging here on the back. Jimmy Allen Hazy O. Avatar. Hunter Gatherer. Looks like a double disc. Yeah. Two LP picture disc. Includes live in Paris. Alkaline Trio from here to infirmary. It's got a little OB strip there on the side, and it is on limited vinyl, just says limited vinyl color. We got a ACDC power up picture disc. A Wall Nation. We have the Above the Rim soundtrack on yellow and orange vinyl. That is probably going to be a popular one. Animal Collective, Prospect Humor. Got cut off there. I'm like, I read it there real quickly. I'm like, hmm, I wasn't thinking humor. Close, but not quite. Ronaldo and the Loaf. That's uh, quite an interesting back there. I am not familiar with Ronaldo and the Loaf. I'm probably going to have to listen to that. Brainiac from Dayton, Ohio. We've got Brainiac Arctic Tapes. The Bruisers, double record set on Tang Records, the Bruiser Singles. Ah, uh, we got the Bummies, live from Grimies, it's the Bummies at Grimies. Black Francis, Abba Bubba. on black and white split color vinyl. Brother Lynch Hung C. Let me fix that. Brother Lynch Hung and Sibo. Clear and white blue splatter vinyl. This is the first time on vinyl, according to that hype sticker. This seems like a pretty solid chunk of vinyl right here. Let's see, first time on vinyl. Danny Barnes, Dirt on the Angel. This looks interesting. It's got Bill Frizzell. Dirk Powell, Chuck Lavelle. Interesting. Precious Bryant, limited edition remastered, colored vinyl. First time on vinyl. Oh man, it's Sea Murder and Bozy Badass on clear with red splatter vinyl. Paul Edward Francis. Blood of Zeus. This is a Netflix soundtrack, limited edition of 2000. Tommy Bolin, Energy 2. Chef Kef, limited edition glow-in-the-dark vinyl. Zaytoven. Another Chef Kef, dedication. First time on vinyl, clear with black splatter vinyl. Larry Coriel. Cool looking vinyl split color there. Live at the Village Gate. Canned Heat Blues Band. 
Kind of looks, uh, so this is by Friday Music. Looks kind of like a compilation, not sure on that one. Love Albert Collins, the master of the Telecaster with the Barrel House. Live. The Creation in Stereo. Two disc set. This is a UK import. A lot of people were asking me if you know about the UK imports. I feel like I got a decent chunk of the UK list in this particular uh, batch. The Cure Faith Pitcher Disc. Jim Croce, don't mess around with Jim. Specially created limited edition, backed with photographs and memories. So this looks like maybe a 12 inch single. Maybe on a special color vinyl. I feel, did I just show this one? What is this? Sea Murder? Bozy Badass? I don't know. The Chemical Brothers, the darkness that you fear. Did an unboxing on this. It sounded great. Fun record. Good salsa record. Celia Cruz and Willie Cullen. Cut by Kevin Gray, all analog. DVSN, September 5th, record store day. Uh, what is that? It's DVSN, September 5th is the name of the album. So far, from what I've heard, this is my favorite release but I haven't listened to everything that I have done unboxing videos on. The Morrison Hotel Sessions, limited to 16,000, but a lot of people are gonna look at this and say, you gotta be kidding me, like, you got 16 takes of Queen of the Highway here. One, two, you know, multiple takes, six or seven takes of Roadhouse Blues. Why do I want this? Man, this is absolutely fantastic. Not only is that the coolest cover, the alternate photograph there, if you could only get Roadhouse Blues Take 14 on this disc and it costs, you know, 35 bucks, it'd be worth it. This is an unbelievably fun listen. Listening to all these different takes, this Queen of the Highway, every one of these might as well be different songs. Same thing with the Roadhouse Blues. Ray changed piano, I mean, the style changed. Some of the solos on, you know, some of the Robbie Krieger solos on Roadhouse Blues are unbelievably good. A few of them I wish were actually on the album. Def Leppard live at Oxford. Demothis Vi Volume 1. Dirty Heads. Devo. That's probably another one that I'm going to have to pick up that I haven't grabbed. Dedicated to you. Row, let's see. Lowrider Love. This is by Kraft. Clear and smoking black vinyl. Little box set by the Dirty Three. Ocean Songs. 2LP pressed on blue vinyl. This looks extremely well done. Little box set with a slip cover case. Another Devo title that I'm going to pick up, just have not yet. Live at the Palace, 1988. And there's a remix set by DJ Kinky from 2010. By far and away, the most sought after jazz release of the entire record store day is going to be this Quiet Kenny. Kenny Dorham title. This is cut by Kevin Gray. Tip on jacket, pressed and plated at RTI, cut from the original analog master tape. I'm sure this is going to sound fantastic. Deftones picture disc. Another one somebody asked me to do an unboxing on. Could have been a joke. Some of these picture discs, I mean, there's, there's no unboxing. It's a picture disc. There's nothing to unbox. This is an Engine Kid 6LP box set. 
16 page book, super limited. It's on black vinyl, limited to 500. The Electric Wizard, Time to Die. You know, this is a pretty solid record store today, guys. There's a little bit of something in here for everyone. I think it is going to be a crazy. Escape the Fate, Chemical Warfare. Emerson, Lake, and Palmer picture disc. What the heck? Manu de Bango? We're going to go with that. It's probably somewhat close. Echo in the Bunny Man, live in Liverpool. Did an unboxing on this not too long ago. You can check it out. The Flaming Lips Soft Bulletin Companion. Flaming Lips titles, always super popular. Fontaine's DC. Lupe Fiasco. House. Majid Jordan, self-titled album, double disc. And fashion, product fashion. First ever LP reissue on green vinyl. Oh boy, we're done with row one. Smooth sailing for now, let's go to row two. Steve Wynn. I thought he ran casinos. I didn't realize he was making records, too. Short print. Limited to 1,600 copies. War Paint, The Fool. Record Store Day 2021. This is one of those titles that it's like, ah, oh, man, why'd they have to do it? Because it's like, I'm going to get it, but I didn't want to have to get a reissue of The Who's Face Dances, right? But... It's Half Speed Master, but what's going to make me want to buy it is live tracks from 1981 Rock Plast Concert. So it's the bonus tracks on disc two is why you buy this album. So, yeah. Link Ray sings and plays guitar. This is a Sunday's reissue. What is this? Jonathan Winters, Unearth. Unearthed. A little bit of a... For you comedy fans out there, M. Ward, End of Amnesia. Remastered from the original session mixes by Adam Gonslaves. Wasted Youth, Reagan's Inn. Got an original of this in the store maybe about six months ago. Limited edition of 2000, The Wipers, Youth of America. Includes original rejected cover artwork. Limited edition of 3000, bonus LP of rare mixes and tracks from the 1981 session. Pretty nice foil cover. Very well done. Pete Yorn Sings. What we got here? The Zombies. Oddities and Extras. Warren Zevon Preludes. This is like a little miniature box set, maybe a book and a, maybe, what is that, a double disc album? Includes the original demo of Werewolves of London. This is going to be a super, pop, super popular compilation. This is a Penrose LP, which I'm guessing is doing nothing more than putting all the 45s that they re reissued or released here recently and throwing them on an LP and then including a slip mat. But until, you know, 
before they released these Penrose 45s, reissued them, they were going for like 100 bucks a pop. Super in demand. A couple comps, Rambling Gambling Blues. Blues behind bars. And the rough guide to the booze in the blues. Lupe Frisco. Lupe Frisco's food. Box set. We've got, what is this? One, two, this is a four disc set. Numbered on the back. This is number 230. This is number two, 6,000. Reissue by the fix. Reach the beach. This is done by Friday Music. Ella Fitzgerald, Ella in Berlin. This is her doing Mac the Knife and Summertime. Genesis, live at Nebworth. Doing Mama and Turn It On Again, Melody. I think this is the newest album from Garbage. No Gods, No Masters. Exclusive to Record Store Day 2021 on clear pink vinyl. Ah, oh, killer band, the Groundhogs. Got an original of this in that super collection I bought. Who will save the world? The Mighty Groundhogs. Actually, I got their whole catalog in that collection. Another super popular title, Freddie Gibbs, Pinata. The last year's Freddie Gibbs title was super in demand. I'm sure this one will be as well. Already got a ton of calls on this. I did an unboxing video on it. Ariana Grande's K Bye for Now. Don't forget there will be a CD here as well for that. I just don't have it. The Glitch Mob, Drink the Sea. Looks like uh, maybe a, I would say that is, what is that? Probably a two disc set, although it feels fatter than that. Golden Gate Groove, The Sound of Philadelphia Live in San Francisco, 1973. Introductions by Don Cornelius of the Soul Train. OJ's Billy Paul, MFSB, looks like a great soul comp. This is one that I was kind of undecided on. I love Al Green. If I could have heard this first, maybe, I, you know, I might still get this. Give me more love, the orchestral greatest hits. This is probably going to be quite good. This is on pink vinyl. The Goonies. Picture disc. Grunt truck push. Guys, if you think this is a lot of stuff for me to show you, you can imagine what it was like unboxing it, processing it, boxing it up, and shipping it. It's going to be an event. The Grateful Dead, live at Olympia Theater box set. Limited to 10,000. I've never gone into date, you know, Sunday after Record Store Day with a Grateful Dead box set in stock. Richard Hell and the Voivod, what is the uh, special vinyl reissue for Record Store Day? Destiny Street Demos. High Pulp's Mutual Attraction. Thousand copies on black vinyl. This is one of those titles that should be in print, but it's not, but it is a Record Store Day release. Donny Hathaway's live, and the reason it should be in print is because you don't find clean copies of this record. They don't exist. But they did 8,500 off them for Record Store Day. Peter Hospel and Chris Steamy. Ben Howard. Let's see, what else we got here? Having a party. This is a Sun Records comp. They do this every year. This is volume eight. This is put out by ORG. 
from Music on Vinyl, Hoover Phonic. Limited to 2,000 copies on solid purple vinyl. This is number 1,034. I mean alarmed. This is another ORG title, ORG label, one that I'm very familiar with, but I am not familiar with this title. Feels like there's some sort of book or something in there. Yeah, includes a 40 page booklet. I shan after. All right, what else we got? Sarah Jarrows. This looks like a maybe a 12 inch single. Bobo Jenkins. Compilation of unknown Detroit blues legends, rare 1970 recorded recordings. Hmm. Looks like that could be good actually. Jeezy, Thug Motivation, The Collection. Two disc set for the first time anywhere, the best of Thug Motivation. Okay, the Jaded Hearts Club, live at the 100 Club. Juicy J, the hustle continues. You know, I'm not a hip hop fan, guys, but man, I'm really glad they're starting to do more of these for Record Store Day, because I gotta tell you, they are the most popular things on Record Store Day. They always sell out first. I already showed you guys this one. Danielle Lenois. I mean, it's funny because, you know, at the beginning of Record, Door, pe Record Store Day, people are asking me for these titles. I have no clue what they are. I've only seen them once. Typically, the video that I shoot by the end of the day after being asked for the same title 500 times, you know, you become aware of this stuff. But La Femi. Janis Joplin's Pearl Pitcher Disc. You guys are going to have to get this. You know, you could do a shootout. You could do your Pearl Pitcher Disc and your Mobile Fidelity One Step later on this year when it comes in. Just Leg It. 19 Party Instrumentals. Instrumentals for Grown Folks. This actually seems really... I bet you this is good. Jefferson Airplane. Acid, Incense, and Balloons. Curated for Record Store Day just for you. Studio single and live gems. Did an unboxing on this. It is going to be super popular. The Regimental Sergeant Zippo. Elton John's first album debut that apparently was canned and never released. The Jazz Dispensary. The Dank Defunct Blend Volume 2. Awesome looking cover. These Jazz Dispensary titles are typically Fire, Cal Jader, Pleasure. Awesome list. Looks really good. Fela Kute. Open and close. Did an unboxing on this. Sounds really good. Solid reissue. Percy the Kinks. With that pie textured sleeve being reproduced. Which is amazing attention to detail. 2021 remaster from the original tape. Original textured sleeve. Replicated. That looks like it could be quite good. Did an unboxing on this. People went absolutely crazy. Might be the best selling title for Record Store Day overall. Not sure. Lady Gaga's Chromatica. There's a map. There's a magazine. There's a picture book. And the album in there. I did an unboxing. You can check it out. Mark Lanigan Band. Here comes that weird chill. Music from the original motion picture, Laura Croft's Tomb Raider. Two disc set. Pressed in golden triangle vinyl, limited to 2,500 copies. Negative Approach, Tied Down Demo, 6, 1983 on Tang. For the first time in its entirety, the complete Tied Down Demo. 
Love Spit Love. Richard Butler. Oh, wait a second. It's a 1997 album from the band featuring the psychedelic furs, Richard Butler's vocalist, limited to 2,000 copies on Swirl Vinyl. The guys here at the shop laughed at me when they saw a box of these things, but I'm like, come on, man, this is going to sell. Are you kidding me? Kenny Loggins at the movies. It's like all the songs everybody wants from Kenny Loggins. Footloose, Danger Zone, I'm All Right. Who doesn't have a good time when I'm All Right comes on? You just have visions of groundhogs. Aqua Blue Colored Vinyl, Lincoln Parks, Meteora. L7, never before on vinyl, 1997 classic, platinum vinyl pressing, limited to 3,000 copies. Ladies' Choice, the pen of Swan Records, a Sunday's comp. Looks pretty good. What is this? Mulata. Mochilia presents... Timeless. I wonder if there's anybody that does these videos that doesn't butcher half these names. I know I butcher half these names. I wonder if there's a guy that just like knows everybody's name, pronunciation, the whole works. What is this? I already showed this. What do we got here? Merculia's Apply Pressure Limited Edition Clear with Black Vinyl. Joni Mitchell Archives. I think this is a companion to the upcoming box set that's coming out, but this is the early years, volume one, highlights. 12 tracks from the first volume of the historic series, yeah. Limited to 15,000. Really nice tip on jacket, looks well done. Foil cover. Oh man, Mega Ran. Mega Ran 9. Black vinyl. Looks kind of like it's almost a poster. Poster sleeve. Tim McGraw, undivided. Jim Messina and his jesters, the dragsters. Sunday's reissue. All right, what else we got here? Holy cow, it just keeps going. OPN, we're gonna go with that. Drawn and quartered. Can you, this is only half the list, guys. Can you imagine if this was like the full-blown deal? Michelle Nadej Ocello. First time on vinyl, pressed on crystal clear, solid silver and solid blue vinyl. Parker McCollum, pretty heart. All right, we'll move the Motley Crew. Couple Maria McKay's. I'll show you both. Monk, Palo Alto, this is the Custodians mix. Unknown, unheard until now. Well, the album has now been heard, but I guess the Custodian mix has not been heard. Neon Christ, 1984. The classic 84 recordings featuring William Duvall. First time released in over 30 years, and look at this. This is an all analog remaster from the original master tapes on Southern Lord. Don't know if it's going to appeal to you audiophiles out there, but maybe. Not a surf. Cycle through. Negative space. All right, what else we got? The Notorious B.I.G. Duets, the final chapter. Limited edition of 10,000. Holy cow, last year, man, I thought when that box set came out, I thought to myself, you know what? 
All these albums are in print. How big of a deal can this be? I could have sold 200 of those box sets if I had them. Noctorum Sparks Lane. I really tried over the years to stop trying to predict things with Record Store Day. You know, you kind of have to because you got to order the stuff. But, you know, some stuff I can pretty much tell you is going to be hot. The Lady Gaga, you know, the Steely Dan stuff. Opeth, Morning Rise. Not this, but, you know, the Lady Gaga, the Steely Dan, the Kenny Dorham. But man, there's always a few titles every single year that just I, I'm like, what? Really? Connor Oberst on none such. Rumations. Ocean color scene. There's always that one item that's like a random squirrely little record that ends up going for 300 bucks. One Orthex point never. I feel like I've already showed you that one. That's the other. Oh my God, where did, look at all this. Ornithex point ever for days. OAR, Stories of a Stranger. First time on vinyl, reissued by Kraft. Look at that. Cut at 45 RPM. You know, Kraft does an absolutely fantastic job of disclosing kind of what's going on. I always look forward to reading that hype sticker when I see it. More on Northex Point Never. Unless I've already showed you that, but I don't think so. Orange Goblin. Eulogy for the Damned. Other music, one of the greatest record stores gets a fitting eulogy. Soundtrack from the documentary. Kind of sounds like something I should uh, have seen or know about at least. My darling wife's favorite release of the entire record store day, Perfume Genius. One of her absolute all time favorite bands that uh, she discovered when I drug her to a couple of uh, David Burns concerts. Let's see, Psych France Volume 7. Ah, I didn't have to drag her, she enjoyed it. Robert Palmer, Sneaking Sally Through the Alley. I gotta tell you, you know, this is not an easy album to get. You just do not see that album very frequently, so I think that'll actually sell well. Pepper, I'm with the old. Actually, I think this is one of those examples. I think last year there was a Pepper release and that ended up being a couple hundred bucks. You know, not something I anticipated. Robert Plant, Live at Nebworth, featuring Jimmy Page on guitar, you know. Jimmy Page, I think those two had a thing before, yeah, they were in a band before that. <laughs> I make jokes, I know, I kid. The Police, live in Boston 79 in a 1983 concert in Atlanta. I did an unboxing on these. Fantastic concerts. Tom Petty's Angel Dream. Obviously that is going to be hot. Prince The Truth. This is one of the companion discs from the Crystal, the Crystal Ball, the uh, CD box set. That actually came in a little plastic crystal case that goes for like, you know, hundreds of dollars. Iggy Pop. Live at the channel. It's weird seeing Iggy with a shirt on. Is it not? I mean, that's twice. Front and back. Plenty of opportunity to be shirtless, and he's not. Red, hot, and blue. A tribute to Cole Porter. The Ray Beats. The Lost Philip Glass Sessions. What do we got here? Oh, that's the same album. Round Robin and Brimstone. The Residence, Leftovers Again. Rage Against the Machine, The Battle of Mexico City. 
first on vinyl for the first time. The replacements, please to meet me. Where outtakes and alternate versions. Having a party with Jonathan Richmond. Of course, look at that. We've got a craft hype sticker. You have to read it. Limited edition, 4300 worldwide. Pressed on Bermuda Seafoam Vial. Boy, that sounds spiffy. The Repo Man. First time on vinyl. Let's see. This is limited edition of 1,500 copies. Hand pressed on glow in the dark vinyl. This is the tribute to Repo Man. That's why I was like confused there. I'm like, what do you mean first time on vinyl? That's not right. Joey Ramone, Don't Worry About Me. Unfortunate title for what I believe was his last record, right? Yeah. Good record. Salah. Ragab, Egyptian Jazz. Now this is one of those records when you see like this cover, you have, you know, I personally have no idea what this is. I've never listened to this record, but like this is an auto buy for me. When I see a cover that looks like this, it's like, okay, we're gonna buy that, we're gonna take it home and we're gonna give it a listen. Ronaldo and the Loaf. I've already showed you this. Okay. Well, this stuff got a little out of order. Joe Strummer, picture disc. Striper, goddamn evil. God, that's a weird title for Striper, I would imagine, right? Limited edition, 180 gram. Limited to 1,200 copies worldwide. The Sword, Age of Winter, super cool. Embossed gold foil cover. Sigh. Heir to despair. Two titles I did unboxings on. There was one of them. Steely Dan's Everything Must Go, last album of theirs. Steelwater Demos. From Cameron Crowe's film, Almost Famous. The original Stillwater Nancy Wilson demos and Peter Frampton demos. On the website, I actually put up a pre-order. They're finally reissuing the Almost Famous soundtrack in a box set and a two LP set. That's actually on the website now for pre-order. Sticks, the same Stardust EP. Shrek, the original picture soundtrack, pressed on neon green vinyl. Music by, oh yeah. Supergrass, going out. All right, Sly, Robbie, and Roots Radix. 2020 Grammy nominee for the best reggae album. And depending on what side of the Lion Rolling Circus you read. Side on the bottom says it's natural organic gum, 33 leaves. The top says it's uh, limited edition unbleached rolling papers. Sure looks like rolling papers. All right, the struts, strange days on clear vinyl. Let's see what else, we're getting to the end. Schoolie D, the real hardcore. Stitched up and shaken. Sleeping with sirens. How it feels to be lost. The London suede. Two LP set, first time on vinyl, live at Brixton, 1993. 
These coal mine comps are typically fantastic if you're into obscure soul. This is volume three. Real nice Stoughton style tip on jacket. Looks really, really hefty. Lacquer's cut at Well Made Music. Press that got a groove records. Slum Village, Fantastic Volume 2. Two LP set. Super Furry Animals, Ice Hockey. Looks like it's cut at 45 RPM EP. Stitched up and shaken. Here is the other Steely Dan Record Store Day release. Two Against Nature. I think musically definitely the better of the two albums that they reissued. Sublime meets the sci scientist and mad professor. Six brand new dub mixes. Toots in the Maytals. Funky Kings. Funky Kingston. Limited colored vinyl. Yeah. So the Record Store Day um, Ambassador. Triumph for 2021. They are doing a box set. This has all kinds of stuff. Double vinyl album live in Cleveland. Picture disc, seven inch single. All kinds of tchotchkes, posters, tour program. Yeah, lots of stuff. Thrice. What is this? To be everywhere is to be, and then my, my price tag cuts off, and I don't know the rest. Because it's not, oh, wait a minute, it's not the back. To be everywhere is to be nowhere. Uh, deep thoughts, guys, deep. Limited edition colored vinyl. 21 pilots, location sessions. Texas, Wu-Tang Clan. The name of the band is Texas and the album is Wu-Tang Clan. Hmm. No clue. The Umbrella Academy 2 on Netflix soundtrack. Man, musically, some of these Netflix shows are just absolutely fantastic. I think as far as like streaming services go, they're like musically on point. Showed this already. Uriah Heep, The Magician's Birthday. This is on a gray splatter swirl vinyl with reimagined artwork. Tears for Fears, live at Massey Hall in 1985. That should probably be pretty good. The Toon Yards, Who Kill? 4AD release. U2 uh, picture disc, Fire. Kind of a cool looking picture disc. I'm sure that looked pretty awesome spinning on a turntable. Couple more left. The Verlaines, live at Windsor Castle, 1986. Two disc set. Arthur Vocali. Two disc set. Oh man, this might be the last one, yeah. Soundtrack to Village of the Dam, John Carpenter score. Yeah, guys, don't forget, all this stuff can be purchased online at our website starting at 1 o'clock Eastern at www.theingroove.com. Or better yet, come on in, 8 o'clock in the morning, we open up. And uh, yeah, we'll be open, ready to go. We got tons of stuff. Come on down.